Hey everyone and welcome back to another Buddhist journal, Pam with me. And this month I decided to wait a little bit because Amanda Rachley, who is another amazing YouTuber out there, has every video she challenges people to recreate her designs and I thought this month would be a great month to try that out. So if you are one of her followers you'll see that this is not actually the May spread that she did this year. I am using May 2019 to recreate her April 2017 I believe but it, anyway it's the it's constellations and I absolutely adore constellations I love the look of them so I thought why not give this a go now as you may remember from previous Buddhist journal videos I try to keep my spreads to four colours so I've gone for the yellow which Amanda actually uses in her video I have gone for a, just a normal grey just because it's useful then I've gone for blue and purple because together they actually look really cool and when you, if you think of space and, and galactic and and spa uh, well planets and stars, my mind automatically goes to blue and purple. But I also have my trusty Tombow Fudenosuke. So let's get started. So as usual, I'm just going to start by going over my May like so and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this yet my initial my initial thing is I'm going to use the Tombow to mark out each of the specific stars and points in the constellations and then use each colour to go over as the lines and again use them for the random stars that's around May which I think I might stick with just this seems like a good idea doesn't it so now to work out which one I'm going to use I think I might just pick them at random random's always good now, unfortunately, I do not have the Creo. Cre Let's try that word again. Crayola brush markers that Amanda H. Lee does. But I must say, I do love the art line sticks. And they give off just as a good, vibrant colour. So yeah, this is almost a recreation, but it is slightly different. I am trying to put my own my own twist on it. Seeing as in her video she only used variations of yellow and black. And I just want to add a little more colour to mine, just so I can use it for the different weeks. Although I must say I do love hers, hence why I'm recreating it. I've just I've I've had a set theme for the entire year of having four colours and I don't want to I don't want to break that. All the constellations that, I'm, that she uses I'm using exactly the same. Alright, so I've got two. I might just do yellow and purple again because I'll switch them around. Ah, oh, and I've dropped the lid. There we 
we go. And the last one. I must say, I really like the way it's coming out already. And either I am terribly bad at watching her videos and can't really remember the video properly. But I, I'm, I don't remember seeing a quote page on her particular video. So I have just written down, never stop wishing. Because whenever I think of stars and, and constellations, my, again, along with purple and blue, my initial thoughts are shooting stars and making wishes on those. And it's true, you'd never do want to stop wishing, do you? So, I'm just going to go over these lines. And my idea is underneath this is to create a banner and have, like, stars coming off of them. Which I haven't pre-doodled in pencil, so this is going to be fun. But it is, it is coming to the halfway point soon. By the time you see this, it, it probably, could be, probably already could be June, um, but it's always good just to have that little reminder, isn't it, to Remember those New Year's resolutions that you set to yourself. And remember to carry on fighting for your goals, no matter what they are. There we go. Never stop wishing. Right, so, as you'll see here, I've just done the little circle and doodled some stars around it the way that Amanda Reach Lee did. Now she only used, I think it was yellow and black for this little, this little circle. I'm going to use all four colours, yes don't worry, I, I've just dropped the lid, I will pick it up. <laughs> um, so I'm considering using yellow for the dots around the edge, then using the darker colours as the as the stars which for all you scientists out there <laughs> I'm sure you'll correct me because I know that if anything the stars should be yellow seeing as the sun is a star and that is one giant ball of yellow fire um, Then I just thought that perhaps having more yellow dotted around will help brighten up the overall the overall spread. There we go. And now can you see that? I think you can. Okay, that's all I've done. Right now to draw in and colour my stuff. Now, as you can probably tell, I cannot actually draw stars freehand, so I'm having to draw them with the only way I know how to and then colour them in. Which is fine by me. And once you colour in, you can't really tell that that's what I have to do. Okay, blue. There we go. Trying to make sure I've got medium size, big and tiny, tiny stars for each colour. Trying to evenly space them as well, but I don't think that's actually working as well as I planned. 
Okay, so all I've done is just finished off colouring in all of those all of those baby stars because some of them were tiny. I don't know what I was thinking when I actually um drew those out because some of those were small and I I have good vision. And even I had trouble. Um okay, so let's make this banner quick. Again, Amanda HD, I'm sorry if you did have a quote page and I'm just blind and completely missed it. And that's not equal. There we go. Just doing this really There we go. Really random. Some are wonky, some are straight, but that's all cool. How many colours have I got? I'm going to use three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. That one needs to be yellow. One, two. Do this one as a big one. There we go. Okay, so that can be a medium sized. Definitely not very good at talking and <laughs> in trying to colour in. There we go. Okay, and then the last ones are going to be blue. That one too can be a big one. And then we'll do a small one on the last. So, there we go. So that is going to be my cover and quote page, which I really like. Oh no, I did nearly forget. I nearly forgot the main stars. That could have been close. And don't worry, as usual, especially with the yellow, because it's quite a bright, light colour. I'm going to try my best to rub out all the pencil after everything has dried. Which, to be fair, won't actually take that long, because both my Tombos and my art sticks are very quick drying. Gonna, oh, I'm going to be annoying and turn this around. So the other thing is that Amanda, Rachel Lee and I also have very different weekly setups. And I must say, I know I've been planning in the same way for the entire year, but... I have been watching her videos much longer than I have been birdie journaling and to say that she is converting me into her ways of doing weekly setups I'm, I'm it's getting quite strong guys I haven't planned for May at all hence why I mean I've done it in my Erin Condren as you'll see but I haven't done anything in my bullet journal hence why I wanted to do a recreation this month and that makes me think perhaps it's time for me to switch it up if I haven't needed it 
or I could do it in a different way, then perhaps I could do it in a different way. Perhaps I don't need my times down the side anymore. I don't know. Well, I'm very tempted to try the whole the quarters. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Ooh, how do I go across? Them? Now that's going to get very confusing, isn't it? We could try that though. Or I could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. Because I definitely don't need as much. Okay, let's let's try this. I'm not one for horizontal planning, but I am happy to give it a go. That sort of looks like a third. That also sort of looks like a third. I'm happy with that. This is probably not quite precise, but... I'm good with it. Good thing about planning and bullet journaling is this doesn't have to be precise, does it? Okay. So I reckon, let's do... How big of a circle should I do for the date? Okay, let's try this. Monday. Oh yes, and by the way, if you haven't already, can't already tell, I've chosen to use blue for this this week. Okay, that, that didn't come out too bad, did it? Let's do the same. See, I probably could speed this up a bit, but I'm not very good at voiceovers. Hence why all of my videos are done live, and I also don't like to edit anything out because if I make a mistake, then that just that shows that we are all human. Although, to be fair, if you have seen Amanda Rachel's bit of general videos, then we'll have to just question her humanity because honestly, guys, her, her handwriting and her drawing ability is just insane and I, I know just like other youtubers she will say she edits out a lot of her stuff and I think one of her videos is saying that she says a lot of so yeah and butts and, and things but I don't know <laughs> I can't see anything wrong with her there we go Okay, this is going to be fun where I try and mess up my spacing. Okay, a little messed up, but it's cool. Red for Wednesday, chip for Tuesday, and mon for Monday. I'm not attempting the whole word because I know for a fact, especially with the ones that go inwards towards the dot, I will mess that spacing up too much. And I, yeah, I get I could do it in pencil first, but. There is day. Anyway, who has time for that? You didn't even see any of that. There we go. Set for Thursday.
Friday. Okay, now weekend. Now this is going to be the issue because how do you shorten weekend? <gasps> or I could just do S and S. Saturdays. Yeah, let's do this. S and there we go. Okay, and I could have been even more thematic and done these as crescent moons or stars, but we're just going for their all four moons and we have a really messed up solar system. That is totally what I'm going for. There we go. I'm just gonna go over with my my black pen. Or do I not do it? No, I'm not going to I am not going to do that. No. I will wreck it if I try and add too much. So there we go. That is what I'm going to leave it as. Mm, am I? I don't know whether to do lines between the days. I'll have to have some way of dividing them. So do I do lines or shall I be or shall I do the whole thematic thing and do some stars? Like a like a banner across each one. Or I could do both. Just going to leave spaces to try and stack them out as well. I don't want them all to be. I say I don't want them all to be in the same space, and that was pretty much all in the same space. Oh well. I tried. <laughs> I tried. There we go. So, I think I would go for this. Colour them in. And although, yes, it's going to take up a bit of the space for the first, like, and the last columns of each. Day that I don't think that's actually going to bother me an awful lot. In fact, well, this is a new way of planning for me in general, so it'll be nice to have a bit of a play around. That was very close to the day. Now I can just go in and easily colour them in. Although I've just missed a bit. Ah! I've missed a star. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. That definitely brings in the whole star constellation. doesn't it? Although I think next time I might not do them as big. But as I said before it's a whole new learning curve of bullet journaling for me so it was fun to try it out. Okay, so there we go. There is my just noticed. There is there is a bit there we go. That is my bullet journal for May, a recreation of one of Amanda Rachley's previous spreads. And I must say I do I do really like it. Um I, I just knew flicking through her previous videos I just had to do this one I didn't care which month it was I just I knew I had to do something about stars so yeah if you like this video don't forget to 
comment down below and like and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye guys